Hey guys, this is Chandra, and this is part two of the video for this Gatefold mini album, um, the envelope and paper bag. Today we're going to learn how to do the horizontal envelopes and the vertical envelopes, okay? So again, I get my, I don't remember where these envelopes came from, but I just buy the cards and envelopes that these are A2 size cards and envelopes, and I'll find a ruler that actually has measurements on it and I will give you the measurements of the envelope before they are cut okay so if you want to make one on your um, scoreboard or something you can the envelope is four and three eighths inches wide I guess tall because you want to use the envelope this is the correct way to use an envelope so um, four and three eighths inches tall by five and three quarters inches wide this way five and three quarters this way, four and three eighths that way, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is cut these envelopes. And I'm gonna cut the vertical one first, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do is seal the back. And I'm just using my ATG. Again, when you're putting these pages together, you wanna use a strong adhesive, but for this demonstration, I'm only using ATG, okay? So you want this measurement to be four and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just a smidgen in my, I like, just a little bit. I'm just cutting enough for my blade to actually go through the paper, okay? Then I'm going to take this end that we cut already and line it up to four and a quarter because that's the size I want my page to be, okay? So the, the vertical pocket is going to be four and a quarter inches wide. You're not going to cut anything else on it. Now, the horizontal pocket, we want to adhere the envelope flap to the envelope. So I'm going to do that. And we want this pocket to be, oh, let me turn off this stupid, every time I turn it off, I forget to turn it. My computer, I turn it off and then the autofocus turns back on by itself. So this needs to be five and a half inches wide. And this is the horizontal pocket. So I am going to just basically, since it's five and three quarters inches, I'm gonna cut like an eighth of an inch off each side. So again, I'm gonna cut a smidgen off. I'm gonna rotate it and then I'm going to line the cut edge up with the five and a half inch mark on my cutter so that it's five and a half inches. And that's the cutting that we're gonna do on that. So I'll get out my scoreboard and we're going to do the vertical pocket first. So I'll give you the measurements for everything. Obviously, you need your pocket. You need a piece of cardstock that measures five and a quarter by three and a half. A piece that measures six and a quarter by four and a half. You need two of those. And you need a piece that measures eight by five and a half. So we're not going to score anything on our envelope, so I'm going to put that aside for right now. The five and three quarters by three and a half, this is going to be turned into a pocket. So we're going to score it on the five and a quarter. It's a five and a quarter. I don't, I think I just said five and three quarters. You know what? It's, it's 1130 at night, okay? So I'm a little tongue tied. So it's five and a quarter by three and a half. You're going to stick it in so that the five and a quarter inch side is at the top and you're going to score at half an inch and then at four and three quarters. So when you make a pocket, you want to score at a half an inch on two, three sides, okay? So now I'm going to rotate it so that three and a half inches at the top and I'm going to score at half an inch. So I have score marks on the two short sides and one long side. Now we have the two pieces that measure six and a quarter by four and a quarter. We're going to stick it in both of these pieces on the six and a quarter inch side and score at half an inch. And the last piece is eight by five and a half. We're gonna stick it in so that the eight inch side is at the top and we're gonna score at four. This is going to be our tag that goes inside the pocket. So now we have the horizontal envelope measurements, six and a half by two and a half, two that measure five and a half by four and seven eighths, and one that measures five and a half by eight and a half. So again, this is a pocket, and I, I didn't, I had a pocket on one of mine, I think, in mine. I don't think I had it on both of them. So I'm just giving you, yeah, this, the back of the horizontal pocket, or the <laughs> horizontal envelope has a pocket, uh, blah, blah, and the back of the vertical pocket. So if you wanna make a pocket for each side, just, you'll make two of these, okay? 
or four, depending on if you want to make it for each side of the envelope itself. So this is six and a half by two and a half. I'm sticking it in, so six and a half inches at the top. I'm scoring at half an inch, and I'm scoring at six. And on the two and a half inch side, scoring at half an inch. Again, you will have score marks on the two short sides and one long side. The two pieces that measure five and a half by four and seven eighths, we're going to stick it in the scoreboard so that the four and seven eighths inch is at the top, and we're we'll score at half an inch. We're going to do that on both of those pieces. And the piece that measures five and a half by eight and a half, we're going to stick it in with the eight and a half at the top, and we're going to score at four and a quarter. Basically, this is the size of a card, a standard A2 card, and that's going to be the tag for the inside. This is so simple. Okay, so I'm doing the horizontal pocket first, and that's the measurements that we just had. Again, they'll be in the description bar. So the two pieces that measure five and a half by four and seven eighths, I'm just going to fold on my score marks on both of those. And then I'm going to unfold. So here's this half inch piece right here that we have. Let me zoom in. There we go. So now I'm going to apply adhesive on both of those half inch flaps. And this is the part where you would use a strong adhesive or even wet glue. So now I have this tape sticking to me. And I'm going to cut off the corners like that. I'm just going to miter the corners on both pieces. bringing my envelope to me, and this is the top of the envelope. I'm going to fold this down so the sticky is facing down. I'm going to line this folded edge up with the folded edge of the envelope, and I'm going to line up the sides. Now, this is where you can get inventive with your pocket. If you want both of the flaps on the front of the pocket, you can do that. Or if you want flaps on both sides of the pockets, just make more of the flaps. Okay, I'm doing the same exact thing on this pocket, or on this side. Pocket, oh, I got pocket on the brain. So now I'm going to open that up. And this, where's my, okay. So this is the piece that we folded on three sides, a half an inch. And I'm going to fold on my score marks. And this time, I'm going to miter my corners first. So again, I'm going to cut out the square. I don't know, this light kind of sucks right now. I don't know. Oof, I looked right into the light bulb, and now I can all see his light. It's like looking into the sun. So now I'm going to apply adhesive to these flaps, and these flaps are not folded. Now I'm going to fold these two flaps down and the bottom on top of that. So I'm flipping it over and all the adhesive is facing up. So now I'm just going to line up this folded edge and this folded edge of the actual pocket with the bottom and the sides of the envelope page. And that is the pocket. So like I said, you can make two pockets for each page. So you can put one pocket on the front, one pocket on the back, or you could just make one pocket or no pockets. So that is that. And then this tag goes in here. So you would attach this open end up to the hinge. And like I said, I used um, the hidden hinge system. So I just had four hinges on it. I made my covers and I stuck a hinge here and a hinge here and I made my hinges the width of this small paper bag which is three and a half inches. So there's four hinges on each of this. But again, I would make my gussets a little bit bigger which in turn makes the spine a little bit bigger. I'll give measurements for that at the end. So now we're going to do the vertical pocket. And the vertical pocket is the one that has the two long sides cut. The pieces that measure six and a quarter by four and a quarter that we scored a half an inch, those are the two pieces I'm going to mess with first. And as always, I'm folding on my score marks. I'm going to unfold it and apply my adhesive going to cut off the corners. This reduces bulk and also helps when you're um, covering it with pattern paper to hide this half inch flap a little bit better. So I'm folding the paper down so that the adhesive is facing down and I'm going to line this folded edge of the flap with the folded edge of the envelope. Now again, if you end up cutting crooked or something's crooked, because sometimes these envelopes aren't completely straight, all right, 
and that's not my fault. I cut crooked, but the envelope is made crooked. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. This is the flap right here with the adhesive on it. I'm folding it down. I'm going to line up this folded edge of the flap with the top of the envelope. And again, you can put two flaps on the f each side, one opening up, one opening down, whatever you would like. So now here is the pocket that we made. This one is five and a quarter by three and a half. We scored on three sides, two short sides, one long side, and I'm just folding on all my score marks. I'm going to cut I'm going to cut this out like that. You can see the square that's formed from the folding of the paper. I'm going to cut on at a diagonal to the point of the square on both sides. Now I'm going to apply the adhesive and flip my page the right way. I'm going to fold my sides down, bottom up, and I'm going to attach my pocket. And that is all there is to that page. And we have our little tag that we will stick inside here. And that is all to the envelope pages. Now I will show you how I do the binding. Now I decided that a quarter inch was too small for this. So what I'm going to do, a quarter inch gusset I mean, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one a half an inch, okay? So I wanted, I made my hinge to fit this pocket here. So this, this Oh, I guess you can't see what I'm pointing to, to fit the small bag. So what I did was I made my hinge three and a half inches because that will fit into this bag. Obviously it'll fit into the rest of the bag. So I am going to cut this down to three inches and this cardstock is eight and a half by 11. So I just cut it three inches so it's three inches by 11. So I'm gonna get out my scoreboard. Now I like to leave a, um, an inch flap on both sides to attach the hinge right here to the cover. That's just me. And you could use um, pay, um, following the paper trails stack the deck binding on this one too. You would just use half inch gussets. Um, so on this one I'm going to score at one inch because like I said I like to leave a one inch flap to attach it. So I am going to leave a quarter inch gusset between the first page between the first page and the cover here. So that's going to be a quarter inch, so I'm going to do that on both sides. So now I have um, a mark at one inch and one at one and a quarter, and now I'm going to make my flaps, which is the hinge itself. So I have to go over another half an inch, which is one and three quarter, and another half an inch, which is two and a quarter. Now I have to make my gusset, which is going to be two and three quarter. So that's one hinge done if I can get in here. So that's one hinge and one gusset, so we need to do that again. So three and a quarter, three and three quarters, that is the second hinge. And now I need to do the gusset, so that's four and a quarter. So four and three quarters and five and a quarter, that is the third hinge, and then a half inch gusset. And then we need to do six and a quarter and six and three quarters, and that is the fourth page. Okay, so that's our fourth hinge. So now we're, we're going to end it. So I need a quarter of an inch again so that I can have a quarter inch gusset between the last page and the cover, and then I'm going to make a mark at eight inches, and that is the one inch flap. So now I'm just going to cut on that last score mark to remove that, and that is the binding for this, and I will fold quickly and do kind of break the fibers in the paper so it's easier to do everything. So I will give you the hinge measurements as soon as I'm done with this because when I'm making an album for the first time and I don't know, I don't know what size of covers or spine that I want, I make I make my hinge first and then I will measure that and that's how I figure out the spine. So I just put adhesive on every 
third piece here. So we have the hinges, gusset, hinge, gusset. Okay. So now this would be the system. And I do have a tutorial that I link in the bottom of my video. Now I'm just going to miter these corners on all of these hinges. both sides. So I did that. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the other side. Okay. So now this is what the hinge is going to look like. So this part right here, this one inch part, will be attached to the cover. And then we have a little gusset here. And then you have your page and then a gusset. Your page will attach to this, a gusset. Again, page, gusset, page, and a little gusset. So. I need to measure from the little gussets all the way back and that is going to be the measurement of your spine. Two inches. Your spine is going to be two inches. So this piece of, let me back out, this piece of chipboard right here is going to be two inches wide by six and a quarter inches. So it's six and a quarter. So this is going to be six and a quarter by two. And the two covers are six and a quarter by mm, four and a half. I don't know if I put that in the measurements. I didn't, you know why? Um, because I gave the regular measurements, I think, in there, not the measurements for the half inch gussets. So it's six and a quarter by four and a half. You're gonna need two pieces of chipboard for the covers. And the sides are six and a quarter by two, and that is the spine. You're gonna need two of those. And the back is nine inches by six and a quarter. And you're gonna need one of those. And this is just the basic, I just wrapped everything first, just like um, I have done before. I glued two pieces of eight and a half by 11 paper together, as you can see right here on the back. And then I put my pieces down, wrapped it, and that's what you get. So, thanks for watching. If you have any um, ideas, I'm going to be making a folio next. Um, and then I have no idea what I'm making. So, if you have any ideas of something you wanna see, just let me know. Bye.